Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So we can see in this case we have boiler to boiling the water, right? And the mass of this uh, boiler is given. The material is given. It is uh, arrow. And also the mass of water is given at zero. And we can get the specific heat for the uh, materials at zero and a specific heat for the water there. Now we need to find the uh, how long it takes, that is the time, right, for water to reach its boiling heat. So how can we do that? We can consider the first law that energy is conserved. So that means the electric energy just uh, totally converted to the heat the water and the boiler absorbed at the same time do you agree yes and uh, we can also know the power of this boiler is given at zero so it looks like we need to find the energy transferred in these uh, cases so now how much energy transferred we need to find the heat transferred to the water and the boiler, agree? So the boiler transferred is a Cm dirt. This is in the material's iron. And the, in the heat, the water absorbed is Cm dirt on water, agree? So now we can look at the delta T, the temperature changes. For water reaches to the boiling point, the temperature is 100 centigrade, right? Initially, it tells us it's just 18 centigrade. Therefore, we can get the dirty as 82 centigrade. In this case, we can input all the unknown quantities, get the heat absorbed by the boiler and the water, right? And we know energy is conserved. This heat can totally convert it, or the, convert it from the electric energy power times the time taking. Therefore, we can get the time taking as E over P and E equals to Q, Q equals to this part. So we get the function for time taking. Input all the known quantities, get the answer there. The next one asks you how much time it takes to have all changed to steams. Now, question, what is steams? It becomes gases, right? So it looks like there is a phase shift for water from the liquid to gas. And we can find this heat is just to use the mass of the water times the evaporation constant. This part, you can check your textbook. It is there. So we can say this Q just equal to the liquid transfer to the gas. And this uh, uh, heat absorbed by the liquid just equal to the electric energy consumed, agree? It equal to P times T. So in this case, we can find the time taken for the liquid transferred to the um, gas and then we can use the E over P and E over equal to Q. This Q is the mass of water times the evaporation constant divided by P. If you input all the known quantity, you get answer zero. See, this is just from liquid, the boiling point liquid to the gas, right? And from very beginning, from 18 degrees, so we should consider the part A. Part A is from 18 degrees to boiling point 100, 100 degrees, so we add it together. We get the, the time taking for total process. The, the answer is there. Thank you.